Hey guys, so I'm finally back with a new video. I know it's been actually a very long time. It's been a few months since I've done a video. The last video I did was actually for a friend of mine's fan film, a little promotional video for his fan film. <clears throat> and I'm sure you could probably all understand why it's been a long time since I've done a video. I mean, with everything going on, the COVID-19 pandemic, it's basically affected like all of us, including myself. So it's had a pretty big effect on my social life. So I haven't really um, gotten around to doing any videos. <clears throat> but I'm actually starting to get around. I mean, I've been pretty focused on trying to do a video for weeks now. And I decided to actually do a new ranking video as a little comeback right here. Since there's a new movie in the series coming out in October, hopefully, like just hopefully this pandemic doesn't like postpone the release any further and it's already done so I'm gonna rank the Candyman movies and I'm just ranking the movies that are out right now the um, new movie that's coming out I'm leaving off this list but I am hoping it's good though and to be honest this was a pretty easy ranking there's only three movies so far in this um, in this series four pretty soon and to be honest it was pretty easy because well the sequels weren't really um, that good and I guess without further ado let's start this ranking video and this is from worst to best so the third one which is obviously the worst one is Candyman 3 Day of the Dead so this ranks at number three and obviously lowest on the um, <clears throat> on this list. So this one wasn't really any good to be honest. This one went straight to DVD while the other two were in the theaters. And for good reason too. I mean this was pretty much a very messy movie. I mean it had it had some interesting ideas but they didn't really do much. The story was just all over the place. Like so it almost felt like there was like basically um let me see. Well, there was two writers on this one. I mean, I can easily guess maybe the writers probably disagreed a lot, which could show with like, with like everything like, you know, messed up, like, because there was like, you know, um, the main girl's story. And there was also this subplot with like, you know, this cult that worships Candyman. This also this subplot with like, um, with the um, art museum about, um, about Candyman. So it didn't really have much of a focus. I mean, one of the only redeeming qualities was Tony Todd as Candyman. Because no matter how bad these movies got, um, <clears throat> Tony Todd was always good as Candyman. He always brought the character to life, no matter what. So, so there's not really much said, to be said, sorry. There's not really much to be said about this one. I mean, it's really... Not um, good in general. I mean, Tony Todd's really the only redeeming quality. Except for, like, you know, they they did, like, you know, play off his famous line, Be My Victim, a lot throughout this one. So he says it the most times in this one, so... <clears throat> the kills, of course, weren't really that good either. They were, like, me, a lot of kills off-screen and some kills that were just pretty badly CGI. So... So I don't really recommend this one. I mean, I would say only see it if you're a completionist, if you want to, um, if you want to, like, finish up the series. <clears throat> because the main girl in this one is, like, you know, the daughter of the main girl in the second movie. And that's really all I gotta say about this one. Okay, and then the next one is Candyman 2, Farewell to the Flush. <clears throat> so... This one, I know this one actually gets a lot of hate itself, but I do know it doesn't get as much hate as the third movie. Like, I thought this one was alright. <clears throat> so, like, this one is basically about, like, you know, this, um, this, um, school teacher named Annie who, um, whose, um, father was murdered years ago, and, like, she's starting to actually, like, investigate his murder, and, like, 
and like as she investigates she starts discovering like that his death probably was connected with Candyman so she um summons him but then basically like you know um this takes like a whole new turn after um after she summons him like cause now she finds out her connections like her her family past like her connections with Candyman so <clears throat> so I thought this one in general was all right. It really wasn't as bad as everyone makes it out to be. I don't 100% recommend it because like one of the downfalls is like it didn't really um, continue um, the ending of the first movie. But Tony Todd, much like what I said about him in with the third movie, he is the redeeming quality, the best part of the movie. He always was great as Candyman. <clears throat> I also really did like the kills in this one. The crypt, the kills in this one were like probably the most brutal out of all of the um, the kills in the entire series. And I do know that um, the director of this one, Bill Condon, I do know he's actually gone to like become like an Oscar-winning like director, and he's also worked with Clive Barker on another movie called I think it was called Gods and Monsters. <clears throat> Which I have yet to see, but I hear it's really good. Yeah, so I would still say, like, you know, this one is alright, so... I mean, it's it's worth checking out. It's better than Candyman 3. But that's the only one it is better than. I also do have the, um... The Blu-ray from, um... Shout Factory, Scream Factory line. Alright. And obviously the best one is the first Candyman movie. So this is our is without doubt the best one in the series. This is actually the movie that actually um that um brought brought Candyman to life, a character that was created by the legend himself, Clive Barker. I mean I know this is um it's based on a story he um, wrote called The Forbidden, which, I mean, I'll openly admit I have not read the story, but I mean, from what I hear from, like, people I know, they've actually said that, um, that's the story, The Forbidden is one of his best stories. <clears throat> so, like, um, I'll admit that Candyman isn't really in the movie as that much, which is, like, one of its only downfalls, but the story... Which is like you know, about this um, lady named Helen, who's played by Virginia Matson, who I've known from um, from Highlander Two, as well as also the, um, the short-lived Swamp Thing TV show. Like she plays um, this reporter that's um, doing this story about um, Candyman. So she starts investigating, starts um, trying to like you know basically like you know um interview people who've um heard the story that if you um say Candyman five times in the mirror he comes to life or like you know, he um he's summoned I should actually say <sighs> so and of course one of the biggest um things the best thing as I've said before Tony Todd as Candyman he was always great no matter what. I mean, he was, um, he was scary, he, um, was intimidating, the kills were very brutal. I also really did like the whole bee effect, like, you know, coming out of his rib cage, coming out of his mouth. <clears throat> the atmosphere, the, um, the cinematography, all great. This is definitely one of the best 80s horror movies of all time. Like, it was 80s or 90s. I think it was 90s, sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's 90s, one of the best 90s horror movies of all time. I recommend checking this movie out. And I, of course, have the um, Blu-ray as well from Shout Factory, Scream Factory line. This was actually the exclusive one that came with an extra slip cover. So, so that's pretty much all I gotta do for this um, video. I mean... It actually was a very easy ranking because, obviously, 
It was all in order. First best one. Second one, all right sequel. Third one, not a good sequel. I just really hope that the new Candyman movie's good. I'm really hoping that it's probably the second best at least. With Jordan Peele involved. After he did Get Out and Us. Two good horror movies. I actually have high hopes for the new Candyman movie. Especially also that Tony Todd is returning as Candyman after 20 years. That's right. Last time he played Candyman was 20 years ago. And I'm really excited the fact that he's coming back. Alright. So, thank you all for watching. I hope to do another video very soon. I gotta actually figure that out. Just hopefully that everything going on doesn't affect my um, my upcoming videos. So, talk to you all later. Bye.